Hello, I am recording another video for this be day three of day two. <laughs> um, and uh, I'm feeling great. I've had plenty of energy all day. Um, um, as far as uh, bodily pains, they pretty much went away, and the breath really just brings this tingly feeling all over my body which makes any of the pain just subside and I feel, feel great all day long um, my roommate noticed she's in full support of me now and she says uh, you know I, I look great you know I, I don't I'm not displaying any weaknesses of uh, you know uh, fatigue or tiredness and actually I feel great um, I have no no desire to eat or drink anything. Um, I've still got some some sores coming up in the mouth. Um, still got some some bodily pain, some soreness in certain areas, especially the abdominal area. I'm noticing. Well, I did do some ab exercises um, a couple of days ago. Normally, my abs feel fine by now. Um, especially, I didn't really even do hardly anything, so I feel like. The organs are really jumbling around trying to do their thing, you know, readjust for a breatharian lifestyle. Um, I felt inspired today to uh, write some more um, on some work that I'm working on. And soon I'll have it available um, as a direct link from my YouTube site and from within Portland. Um, and then even to the Rainbow Gathering, I will be. Uh, teaching people on how to transition to the breatharian lifestyle because it's really just all about believing that uh, there are some, some ways to uh, expedite that if you understand the process of uh, how the mind works and how you manifest a reality in every moment and I just want to share with everyone I feel I feel really great tingly feelings all over my head I got some uh, silk some silk cloth in order to uh, sleep with my dreadlocks um, so that's what that is it's, it's very nice I love what I do with it and it's just so I won't get no fabric stuck in my dreadlocks and stuff when I'm sleeping and uh, really I just want to share my progress of you know believing is seeing and you gotta be something before you can see something and I'm telling you, I already know, I already am, I already am breatharian. It feels, it just feels so natural to me to not eat and not drink. Um, I, I went through quite a period. Um, my period of be being a vegan um, was very short-lived, I must say. Um, I went from on and off, on and off, you know, the the, the processed foods and such, because I didn't quite understand the nature of. Um, beliefs and how that emotional attachment was kept compelling me to go back and forth but I watched the process as it happened um, while I did still do it I was completely conscious and completely aware of what was happening but I was just really had to observe my period in the darkness in order to fully understand how it all worked within my mind and within my body then one day I stumbled upon some some answers within myself expressed and I, I, I used I used what what the wisdom spoke to me within to use and the beliefs are gone they're they're uprooted and now I'm fully and completely breatharian I love it um, there's no going back you know I've I, all day long no matter what I'm doing I've been feeling, thinking, behaving in a joyful manner. It has simply been joy, 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 joy. Um, I just have this smile and I just can't put it down. You know, I can't tug it away anywhere. I gotta show it, I gotta give it. You know, every time I smile and breathe, that's when I really feel. That's when I really feel the breath come in and just lift me up. Like it's like it's like the atmosphere is just caressing my body, and 
it makes every little bit of um, ping, I like to call them pings instead of pains, pings in my body as it's transitioning through this detoxification process, it makes it just go so smooth. I'm, uh, I'm not, I'm not really sleeping that much. Um, I get um, you know, less than eight hours of sleep, and it's really just I'm so excited all throughout the day and all the way to a, I go to sleep that I got completely clear my mind in order to fall asleep. And I had some very interesting dreams last night. But uh, I just want to share with everyone that I'm fully loving this experience. Um, you can do it. You can. Um, I suggest if you don't believe yet, talk to me. Um, <laughs> I'm really good with uh, conveying some words of wisdom, and I really enjoy it. It's certainly my passion. And uh, I'm creating a, a new blog site to, uh, to reflect that passion, and hopefully pretty soon we'll be up and running and I'll be able to give out all this wisdom that I want to put in a book and I just want to give it for free though I just want to give it give 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 it all because everybody needs it and through my upbringing I have uh, yeah, they say that the most difficult thing with uh, becoming a breatharian is the social clash you tell someone you're a breatharian you don't eat any, eat or drink anymore they're automatically going to get whoa offended like, and you can see it in their face you know their either expression angry, worry, um, some type, form of stress, some disharmonic energy expresses in their face, and, and uh, you know, I grew up coming up through that type of energy, so it's nothing to me, um, it's, it's, it just, what it does is just shows um, some beliefs that those people need to reconsider, because when, when you truly, when a belief truly suits you, it brings you joy. You feel like there's this, this sense of freedom in it. And that's what being a breatharian is all about. It's, it's, it's a freedom of choice. The freedom, I could eat, I could drink, but I want to be, for right now, right here, in the moment. It's all about freedom. And if a belief, I uh, say it's a limiting or toxic belief, if it's not freeing you, it's constricting you, and you, you see it in people's faces when they when they when someone displays a disharmonic, energetic signature. That means that they they're holding on to some beliefs that hurt. They're in their truth, in their true core of being, they truly know that that belief is not true. But they need to bring it into their conscious awareness so that it'll it'll go away. And that big belief is, you need to eat if you want to live. If you don't eat, you will die. And it's it's totally a belief, a brainwash scheme in order to have people dependent on the government, dependent on resources, instead of actually being dependent on themselves and fully living their joy and expressing it to the world and sharing with people. And uh, I just want to share um, some of these quick thoughts on my progress. Um, yeah, every day, all day. It's been joyful, it's been blissful, and I've noticed since I woke up this morning from now, I feel the breath more. I feel more joyful now than when I woke up this morning. I feel it, I feel it. It's just <sighs> so revitalizing, so energizing, so restorative. I've been thinking clearly, I've been thinking I've been feeling clearly, uh, uh, you know, it just brings my awareness, my thought awareness up so I can, I can stop a thought before a thought happens. I feel the intention of a thought before I have a thought. So I can, you know, it's, it's so easy to stop negative thinking. It's just like, it's almost non-existence at this point. I know just as, as long as, as, as I continue through this process, it's just going to be more and more easy to be joyful. Uh, you know, it's it's how you integrate the with a state of enlightenment into the present moment, into your being, as you are able to gift it to the world as you're walking around. You don't have to just meditate and feel that sense of connectedness to everything. You know, being a breatharian, you get to bring that into every interaction that you have, every single one. And 
It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. You know, this is love. This is this is breathing love. When, you, when I smile, and that is love. You know, some people confuse what love is and what love, and because they, they don't truly know. Some people they never really identified with the term love, and society will give you the worst definitions for love. And you know, eventually I'll share some some perspectives on such things as that. Um, for all those seeking some answers, and uh, I just want to say, again, it's all about beliefs, it's about getting to those unconscious beliefs, uprooting them, bringing them into your conscious awareness, so, and what happens is, is, the best way to get those into your conscious awareness is to journey into the dark, consciously, to, to do those things that you otherwise, you know you don't want to do. But become become completely aware of the whole process. Detach yourself from your emotions. Detach yourself from the mental chatter that says, this is why you're doing it, this is why you're not doing it. And detach yourself from all that and observe it from a neutral standpoint of conscious, engaged detachment. You know, look at it with a bit of curiosity, like a little bit of playfulness and say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see what's going on. All right. Now, you know, after you, you know, say, after you eat the, that food or after you do that activity, you know, you look back on it, you, you really need to reflect on it, and then journey into, um, with your imagination, into an even deeper, darker aspect, and say, why, why, why am I doing this to myself? It doesn't feel good. You know, if it feels good, they'll put a smile on your face, and when you think about it again, it'll still, that smile will still be there. That's, that's what joy is, that's what love is. And people don't notice, or they, they become so attached to their environment and having other people and other things and other circumstances and hoping, hoping, and they're always hoping that this is gonna be the fix that's gonna help them get to that level where they're gonna be happy finally. And it doesn't work like that. You have to you have to rely completely on yourself. It doesn't mean you can't use all this stuff and play with it. You know, this stuff is meant to be played with. But it's the uh, it's the mental attachment, the mental hold on hold on things that makes you believe that you need it and that is what is the problem and uh, and Buddha and Jesus you know they all talked about it but uh, I'm gonna put it in a little bit different words for uh, everybody out there but uh, for now I just want to say I love everybody it was an awesome experience I hope to inspire some more people um, through my videos and through my writings to gather that strength. And if you need some inspiration or you have some questions or you have some struggling beliefs, you know, message me, question me. Let me know how you feel. Let me know what's going on with you. And I'll give you some, a perspective that's completely neutral. And I hope you'll take that neutral perspective and choose to view your life in those circumstances of hardship from neutrality. You know, it's, it's that's what truly it is to be man, is to be to to be that neutral essence. We, we are capable of seeing the oppositions, the extremes, because in truth we're neutral. Our omnipresent awareness behind my eyes, behind your eyes, it's neutral. It it doesn't judge. It, it allows. It loves. It understands. It accepts. And, and if you allow it by cleaning out the impurities of your body the physical impurities you will allow your emotional mental and physical body to all align into pureness you know they, they'll all work harmonically together and joy will come effortlessly to you because it's just like when you breathe the breath and it, this tingly sensation just fills your whole body all the way up to your crown you know how can you not smile and, and then look to the next person and smile so genuinely that they smile back. You know, it's all about gifting our love to other people. And I just want to say I love all y'all, and uh, I wish y'all luck. And thank you. <laughs>